My name's Adam. I'm an Australian freediving champion, but because of COVID, I can't compete. So while we're waiting for the world to open up again, me and my wife Erin and our daughter Ellie are going on a freediving road trip around Australia. We're going to be living out of our tent and diving everywhere. So subscribe to follow the journey and a huge thanks to our patrons for making this all possible. All right, so we're heading out to dive uh, Julian Rocks and we're with some good friends, Jambi and his partner, Eleonora. I've actually never done a bar crossing with this boat, so I'm a little bit nervous, but it's a really flat, calm day, so Jambi's like certain it's gonna be totally fine. But uh, the Eleonautical is so far untested uh, for bar crossings. <laughs> I'm pretty pumped, I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to diving Julian Rocks for a very long time. So Adam's attempting to go through the bar, which is his first time ever, so I'm actually quite myself. In case you were wondering, a bar is just where a river mouth meets the ocean, and it's usually a really dangerous place to drive a boat through, <laughs> especially when there are waves. Jambi and his partner Eleonora and we met Jambi for the first time at Deep Week. They came with uh, with Dom and Harry from Apnea Art Freediving and, and Dom and Harry are just over there on the other boat. So Jambi was just giving me like like a history lesson as we were coming out and, he, and yeah he's an absolute wealth of knowledge and it's um it's awesome, awesome coming out and dive here with him. So down here these these three uh, mountain peaks line up. So you got Julian Rock, we call it Marangali. Our representative created up down the state is here in these caves um, when he's here on earth. Further in the background you got Chicago, that's big right at the back, that's the Mount Memories, then further in the back behind that is Mount Warning. We call that um uh Wollumbin. These three peaks in a in a row is the major songline, the east coast, the west coast, the way the sun travels around the earth. Major songline for the earth. This is the beginning of it here. So it's our understanding that this is the first like country. This means that the first the first dawn was seen here, and that's the first, the first major song line, the first major ray line, bow line, that goes around the whole planet. We do ceremony here, it affects the whole planet. That's why we're very, very protective as far as what goes on here. We used to have uh, the 30 tribes in Northern Rivers visit here, and it was very, very sacred. Everybody knew the law and the, the understanding of this place. And Mount Warning is like the, the central point for our, our law system, so it's very important for us. But um, yeah, if you ever come out here to dive, respect the, respect the creator, respect you, always respect you, because it's a very sacred place. And the respect you put in here gets felt all over the planet. On my very first dive here, I saw this beautiful spotted eagle ray. This is the first spotted eagle ray I've seen in my entire life. There was so much going on underwater. After a few dives, I started to have this feeling like, every time I go down, what am I gonna see? Gentle little light Kicking at the walls You hear a call From right outside A little look alike My
storming fight. Jambi told us that down deeper here in these sandy crevices, we can often find dusky whaler sharks, but there, there weren't any there today. Constricting walls, the ending light. The blinking azure eyes. This green sea turtle didn't really want to swim with us, but as I turned around, I was really surprised to see these two big snapper swim right up to me. This is a marine park, so there's no fishing or spearfishing here, but snapper are usually a very shy, skittish fish, so I was surprised to see them so confident. Okay, freeze frame right here. You can see here in the top right hand corner there's a dark shadow, like a dark shape. That is a huge 30 odd kilo kingfish, a huge kingfish, and it scared the shit out of Erin. She thought it was a shark and she panicked and raced right to the surface and I was like, oh my god, have you seen the size of that kingfish? <laughs> Swimming with a school of rays has always been a dream of mine, and here it came true. Did you know that actually a group of rays is called a fever, a fever of rays? You're making me worried. Why are you so worried, Erin? Because it's getting darker and darker and you're, you're very chill. Oh, uh, what? I'm just faffing around. <laughs> uh, that was a really, really special dive. I would love to come back here when the water's crystal clear and it gets crystal clear here. Um, just like so much life. Honestly, probably one of the, well, probably the most biodiverse dives I've ever done in my life. Like in terms of just the range of things that we saw. Incredible spot and huge thanks. Jamie and Nora for taking us out. Now let's go back home. <laughs> let's cross that bar again. very very heavily all last night but oh no I forgot the toilet code three oh, damn three. it rained all last night which was a great test for the tent it held up really well this tent is exceeding all my expectations anyway Adam's gonna go dive at Broken Head which is just around the corner from where we're camping at Suffolk Park all right, so I'm here with Apnea Art Freediving and these guys teach freediving courses in the Byron Bay region and they are old friends and some of the original deep weekers. I've uh, been in the area for a few years now. We 
tend to go overseas too much but now, <laughs> now we're back for a long period we run courses pool training intro we also like to do some creative ventures if anyone likes to try something you out you guys have we a big can... uh underwater photography tank that they can use as well which we is very cool do we do so if you have ideas or want to come and have a play you're more than welcome anyway i'll leave a link to their website in the description of this video as well uh, and, and to their socials and yeah let's get out there Yo. Yo. We were staying near Broken Head and the headland just looked so cool I wanted to dive it. There were just all these peaks that stuck out of the water. To get there we had to swim off the headland, circle around back to another beach and from that beach we could swim out to the actual Broken Head to the, the little islands there. Swimming around the rocks were just masses and masses of silver brim. The, uh, the spear fisherman inside me was just going crazy, but uh, I only had the camera today. The issue was that it had been raining so much that the viz was just terrible. <laughs> I mean, the water in Byron Bay gets crystal clear, but um, it was just green and murky for us. But uh, well, we, we were still having a good time. Schools of Trevally, schools of Australian salmon. Once again, the spear fisherman inside me was just going nuts. On the way in, I tried my best to get as close as possible to all these little rays. Uh, just quietly, it's really funny watching freedivers trying to get out of the water wearing their long fins in surf. <laughs> my bloody hair. <laughs> I smacked him in the face. Oh my god, that was horrible! <laughs> Next time we'll use more lube. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing oh, wow, this wow. little circular thing down here. Also, check out this video. Or you might want to check out this video because you might like it too.